Hi, I'm Richard at the Trading Post. Today, I have another interesting item, and this are this is the Capex 78 stamps. For those who have went to the Capex 78, which is long before I was born, but this was a little bit about it. The Canadian International, and I'm going to butcher some of these words because they have a little bit of French in them, I believe. But we're gonna try to do this. Anyways, the Canadian International Philastic Exhibition, CapEx 78, was held at the Canadian National Exhibition Grounds in Toronto from 9 to 18th of June 1978. This was the nation's second international st stamp exhibition, the first having been held in 1951. CapEx 78, the commemorative, uh, the centennial of Canada's entry into the Universal Post Union. And it's, it's kind of a neat bit of history. You know, this, this here was uh, these Canadian Post issues, its first miniature souvenir sheet to commemorate CapEx 78 and to mark this uh, centenary of Canada's entry into the Universal Post Union to be issued on the 10th of June, 1978, Canada Post Day at CapEx. The souvenir sheets are available mint at $1.69 on the first official day cover Ottawa's uh, cancellation at $1.89. And it's, it's really cool. Just this little bit of history, and I was reading some of the background on it too, and it said that it was one of the most expensive places to buy stamps uh, at that time in Canada. They said the prices were just outrageous, but people were buying them thinking that you know they're they're buying an investment piece of property. Um, I read a couple of times that people would spend over ten thousand dollars on stamps and and collectibles and stuff like that there, and then years and years, 20, 30, 40 years later, sell them at less than half of what they paid for them. So, definitely crazy. I even read one story where some guy standing in line hollering, I, I wanna buy that thick book up there. And the guy's like, it's, it's a telephone book. It'll just show you how nuts people were going, spending money on, on stuff like that. But anyways, these here, these are, 31.1 grams, which is roughly an ounce of silver, uh, 999 fine silver, and 24 karat gold plate. Um, definitely pretty interesting. Has Queen Elizabeth on there. Again, just the stamps showing how much that time uh, an ounce would have been to send through the Canadian Post. And then we have another one here, same thing, and these are both marked CapEx 78 uh, with Queen Elizabeth. And then it has just a, a brief description, you know, the CapEx 78 Toronto, and then the dates. And there's also this certificate of authenticity in both English and French, of course, with the executive director signature on both sides saying that only Let's see, that only 2,500 were ever issued. Well, for those that bought into this, to give you an idea of how much we think they're worth, we're selling these at $18.99 a piece. So for those who thought this would have been an awesome investment back then, the only thing that really carried its value was the price of the silver in it. But anyways, I, I thought I thought these were pretty neat. Again, give you kind of a close-up view. I definitely just one of the interesting things that's come in the shop here. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll try to cover some more topics of some interesting stuff that comes in. Thank you. Have a good day.